Thanks for staying with us now at the Bank Holiday Weekend around the corner. Many people ready to head on holidays. Will delays at Dublin Airport be fixed? Well, travel expert Owen Corrie is here to tell us more. Good morning to you, Owen. Morning, Alan. We are looking at Dublin Airport again this morning. You've been monitoring outside for us. They're back at Dublin Airport Terminal 1, delays again this morning. And the queues were really long early. They're tapering off now, and my instinct is that they will, by around half eight, be back to 20, 30 minutes, sort of normality. The reason is that that trust has been broken. We, for, you know, after that initial long queue with the first, so we first saw queues outside of Dublin Airport, we were told two and a half hours short haul, three and a half long haul, you will make your flight. And Dublin Airport, you know, they were stretched, but they mm -hmm. got everyone on board their aircraft. What happened on Sunday is that trust, uh, that belief that, you know, we followed their advice has been broken. It's really hard to get it back, Alan. A lot of people in queues this morning are going for much later flights. You have people in for an afternoon flight ahead of someone for a 9 a.m. flight very hard for the airport to roster and the people who are re behind the scenes losing it over this are the airlines because you know they're trying to staff their check-in yeah. desks and monitor what time people are coming for bag drop-offs. Bag drop-offs are a big deal if you're going to one of the hubs like Lufthansa's flight to Frankfurt or KLM's to Amsterdam, Air France to Charles de Gaulle or the Heathrow service because lots of people have bags. So very difficult for an airport Should we be taking the airport advice then and do yes. the two and a half hours? Yes for a short haul and three and a half hours for long haul. Yes, they, we have no choice, Alan. We have to trust them. You know, they make the big but people call. people trust them at the weekend and look what happened. That's exactly it. We've, we've more than a thousand people left without their flights. But when, remember, this is an industry where things go wrong all the time. A, a pile up on the M50 has caused that sort of level of people missing their flights in the past. A snow Ice storm, storms, yeah, something all of like that. that yeah. It recovers quickly. They reschedule people. They get people going where they are. To actually blanket, say, everybody arriving in the airport four, five, six hours in advance will make it, it, it will contribute more problems to than it results. Yeah. So people, there'll be lots of people watching this morning that they are heading out and there's, they are people worried because Absolutely. they're going, oh my God. Three like, years, I, three I four years, children. Four kids three. going out for the, this weekend for I've their first night holiday. For the passport. Yeah, so <laughs> what, what's your advice to them then? Uh, stick to, to two and a half for short haul, three and a half for so long So you're haul. saying that should be fine. That should weekend. be fine. So what's going and, to change at, and, with the DAA between now and the weekend that we won't see a repeat of what happened on Sunday? You can't give that absolute guarantee and the DAA can't give that absolute guarantee. But what they, what is, what they have to look at is how can 17 people, that's what's involved here, 17 people, couldn't turn up for work because of sickness on Sunday morning. How could 70, and then, as the Kildare... How 17 people caused that mayhem? Because... It must have been much more than that. The, they, they, uh, once you lose, as the Kildare footballers found on Saturday, once you concede four goals in the first 20 minutes, once you lose that early morning, you don't get it back. The queue was irretrievable. And they were bringing people in and trying to bring people in and all of that. So what they, they, what ha they had on Sunday was a really bad start to the day, never recovered. And remember, Saturday was troublesome as well. People were missing, a lot of sports fans on the move, people missing flights on Saturday, and they ran into this terrible Sunday. What we saw yesterday is a long queue early in the morning because of people of nervousness, and this morning is about nervousness. But we are, I can't, I can't say, and DA can't say, it won't happen because we're four of the busiest weekends of the year. Yeah. June 24 is the, is the busiest peak. scheduled day of the Can year. Can I just ask you, the DAA, about compensation yes. of people who miss flights and compensation, if it happens again, the DAA have said they will compensate yes. everybody who miss flights. But they're not saying, they're just saying on an individual basis, they will look case at each by case. case by case. So are you able to claim for your hotel costs? Will you get your car hire? There was, there was a, I saw um, three kids were going to a concert in the UK. They're not going yeah. to get that money back. That concert will isn't going to happen again. Yeah. Well, yeah, that concert isn't going to happen again. Will the DAA cover that? A case by case is because there isn't a sort of, there's a very heavily regulated environment when an airline is at fault with the, the EU regulations in since 2004. There's nothing about airports. What will happen this morning, uh, at the moment, customer experience at dublinairport.ie is, your, portal. is yeah. your, it's, it's your email. Yeah, uh, there the email, a, that's yeah. where you can go. Yeah. That's where you go. Now, there will be a link on the website up later this morning, I'm told. And if you email that, that's the first place to go. You stop there, you start there, you get back a form 
form. They'll look for your vouched expenses and they'll go through it case by case because it's, it, what they've said is we're paying compensation. But the legal people in Dublin Airport will intervene and say, well, it can't be open-ended. Everyone who claims they were going to a concert, maybe they were, maybe they weren't. But that's not for us to discuss here this morning. Yeah. At the moment, but they're saying, send it in, we'll look at it. And I'm sure by the end of this week, they'll have a clear pattern. It's not a hell of a lot of people, by the way, 1,500 compared with what the big storm will do. Yeah. Um, so it, so it's it customer does sound experience manageable. at DublinAirport.com. That's, that's the email that you'll send it to. Unfortunately, we've run out of time, but we would love Always to hear from you yeah. if, you're, if you had been affected over the weekend and if you're planning to travel this week, what are your fears? Are you still, are you going to take Owen's advice? Do the two and a half or the three and a half hours? Stay cool. Stay cool. A <laughs> might, cool head and a dry work. sock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry we're in such a short place of time this morning because we've loads to get through, but uh, we might have you back in next week. If we see a repeat of it this weekend, hopefully not. Uh, lots more on RLDM still to come. We're going to take a quick break.